Hey, what's up guys, Jacob here, back on a video. So we are going to be playing the usual, ranked. And yep. Yeah. Now I haven't been making a lot of videos back to back. Now I was supposed to be doing a matchup video and I haven't done that yet. I just... I don't know. Usually when I'm done playing ranked I just like kind of do a mind wipe and like pl either play something else or just... Eat something and I just completely just forget about all the stuff but yeah also want to kind of talk about motives a little bit and now that I'm starting to play the game a little more often I'm you know now that I'm starting to try to pick up opponents you know play styles right away so I can try to adjust as fast as I can even though it's really hard to do that in ranked I'm starting to pick up other things on top of that as I'm playing I'm starting to pick up like players motives and starting to understand like just some things from their play style Alright, this is it. DP. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to pick up on things just as other things in general. Yeah. Okay. Alright, this is it. What? Bruh! It didn't come out before. Okay. Gotta jump. Okay, got a little lucky there. Punish. Okay. I'm dead. Okay. Alright. I gotta stop trying to chase him down. I kinda fucked up punishing the fireballs as well. Okay. Hi, hi, hi. Nice block. You could have punished. What? Okay. You win. He didn't punish the overhead. I actually forget what Ken could even get there. Maybe stand medium, crouch medium. Medium Tatsu. Round one. I'm just keep throwing overheads if you're not gonna punish it. Okay. Wow, stayed in front. Bruh. Okay. A lot of jumping. Gonna jump again, yep. Back throw after that, always. Jump. Why? Right, this is it. Okay. 
Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. Again. So committed into getting the jump ins after that. See, he's not really trying to, which is weird, but, but get my born. What? Jumping after that? What? <laughs> okay. Bruh, what's this guy doing? Oh lord. I tried to throw chain there, didn't come out. I shouldn't have done that there. It's just kind of a mixture of like madness play. Okay. Bruh. Okay. Okay, okay. Then punish, okay. I beat that out really? Wow. I'm not even trying to anti or shit. Okay. Now jump. Okay. No! I want to do EX! Oh, I'm dead! Fuck! Why did I go for something so risky? That was so dumb. Oh, I fucked up confirming. I tried to do EX. I don't know why I tried to do EX. The thing is, when I do EX, I press two buttons. I don't use uh, all buttons. So if I don't press them all at the same time, that happens, bro. Oh, that's that sucks. Wow. That was so bad. Ugh. Well, that's what happens. You make one mistake, that can cost you. Just like that. And then you get frustrated and impatient, and then you just pretty much blow the whole round. this jump again uh, I'm just losing to this set play hi 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 okay it's like the first throw you bruh okay Hi, 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 wake up DP. No, okay. Final round. 
Bro, my EX. Thank you, damn. Wow, that real back is hitbox. Nice jumping. Became a lot tougher than I expected. It's so annoying playing against that like lame style. Just jumping a lot, staying full screen, throwing fireballs. Ken has a lot of good like ranges that you can control birdie at. But yeah. And good pressure of course. His armor breaking uh, abilities I don't think are too good in terms of his like EX fireball and just committing. He has to commit a lot. That's kind of what I noticed in that matchup. Ken has to kind of commit hard or just try to OS the shit out of me like you just saw the guy doing. This guy back threw me after almost every cross up or or neutral jump. That was the mix on his side. That's how heavy he was trying to OS all my defensive options. That he literally just doing a bunch of like OSing. Just jumping a lot and you know full screen fireball. <laughs> No way this guy has his name, bruh. Ligma? Damn, man. Sorry to hear you're suffering from Ligma. I know it's a pretty rough disease, you know. It's been spreading for a long time, though. She was bad. Oh, yeah, Dad, I forgot to talk about uh, the motive stuff. Oh, I'm glad I'm getting matches really fast. Okay. Oh, nice. Me and Punch didn't come out. Okay. He tried to watch me for something. Cool. Okay. They just went for that. Wow. Gonna reverse it. No. I accept. I've honored my response. Bro, this guy is just committing. Wake up a button. Okay. Let's see if I can pick up what this guy is doing. Bro, the timing. Okay, buddy. Bro! Oh my goodness. Uh. Okay. Jump. Oh, nice punish. Oh, fuck. Oh my goodness, I keep dropping it. Jeez. That's so bad, I don't know why I'm doing that. Bro. It's not punishable? Okay. Medium punch can stop that. Bro. Oh, 
Bro. Wow. Alright, it is what it is. Nice, good shit. I got impatient and stopped playing solid for some reason. That's just so frustrating playing against a new character. You know, someone that's not really caring much. You can tell this guy just playing with no risks behind him. He's just going. I guess I gotta go as well. Punish. Okay. This guy likes jumping a lot. Okay. What to those random shoulders this guy was throwing out? Okay. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Again. Okay. Please don't tell me this guy can wake up DP. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? He's playing with no risk behind him. Just, just going. Okay. But trying to walk forward and block is hell. Practice medies. If I didn't practice my medies there, I would have got hit out. Okay. Just throwing that out, okay. Collision. Okay. 
Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Oh, GG's. Oh, never mind. Oh, GG's, okay. I almost died to Ligma, but it's all good. We survived the Ligma. Ugh, damn. Why you gotta be so annoying, Ligma? Alright. But yeah, going back to motives, if I can finally talk about motives. So what I was trying to say about motives, so where I can read people, you can kind of, like, read, like, a person's motives based on like how they play, you know. For example, everyone has a motive that drives them to be, you know, to to grind or to get better at the game. There's always a reason, whether it's good or bad. I mean, there are many ways to, you know, like for example, like a troll. For example, even a troll has motives. You know. The thing is, is the you know, like for example, let's say uh, a damn player, you know, picks up wants to pick up something like a set play that's really annoying for players to play against, and then you know, play you know they play very toxic, you know, a lot of you know uh, decisions that are very risky, but they work because you don't expect them. So, but because of that, you you know, you build your playstyle off of that, and a lot of trolls, the you know, they don't like losing. That's another thing about trolls; they they really don't like losing. So. They get really good at the game, weirdly, so that they don't have to lose anymore. Or they just pick a character that's, you know, has a certain setup that's really hard to deal with. Oh, they play high level and want to be as good as them, and they use that as motivation. You know what I mean? Okay. Committed. What the hell? Buddy. What the heck? Oh, nah. <laughs> this man woke up, he had dash punch. He thought he had a DP? Oh lord. Okay. Come here. Oh, I did the other one. Okay. You are not plus there. You could have punished that. Okay, nice reversal. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Okay. Hi, hi. Oh, I didn't go over? What? Damn, that shit got some hitbox, huh? Okay. Time to guess. Okay. Over here, Okay. Hey, the bait. The throw bait. Bait. Okay. But yeah, I'm starting to read like motives through someone's like playstyle. 
Can I read this guy? Not really. I don't think this guy. I don't think he plays G much. I think he just picks him. He just picked him up to kind of like I don't know. I mean, some people, you know, they get good through anger, right? There are players like that. You could read it in their style that a lot of their their motives were from anger, just trying to fight through that anger and salt. There's some players that literally built a lot of their playstyle off of like just anger. You can see it in their style. They're either super aggressive or you know, and their reads are very wild too. Everyone has a motive in this game. You could read it through their playstyle, like what what they like doing and what makes them want to play the game and what they have fun doing. You can see it. Whether it's playing a, a a good character and doing cheap shit with them, you know, wanting to rob people and ranked. You know. Even though there are bad motives, they all at the end of the day work the same. I feel like everyone winds up just getting there at the same time. I guess it's me, but yeah. I mean, everyone I feel like goes through those stages, like all the stages, you know, anger, disappointment, you know, wanting to troll, you know, like wanting to pick top tier characters. It's all like everyone goes through that. I feel like, you know, finding game players are always going through some type of like phase. I feel like, you know, the ones that overcome it are the ones that become really good obviously but yeah you could definitely read though how like some players you could tell where they kind of like started off or what you know what kind of drives them if that makes sense but yeah players like trolls you know even trolls get really good too there, there are really good you know troll like players I mean you could look at like the high level FGC players and you could definitely find trolls there that they're good even though they troll a lot you know what I mean not not necessarily that they built a solid fundamental like off but off of like trolling and like disrespectful play if that makes sense not so, not necessarily purposely to like fucking hurt everyone they play against but there's something they just built up through playing like that before and they learned that it's really good you know what I mean like double shimmying you know walk up uh, DP walk up overhead you know what I mean like stuff that's really like risky or might seem disrespectful like when I command grab loop somebody in the corner to me I'm like oh it's not you know obviously I don't I don't think of it as like something that's toxic and that's the else can for sure it, the person I'm doing it to is gonna be like, yo this is mad toxic this guy's literally just command grabbing me four times in a row, bro. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? That guy's either gonna be like, fuck this, or he's literally gonna be like, I don't wanna get command grabbed ever again. Now he's just gonna either jump OS everything, or just like build like a very good, like, defensive mechanic, or like OS against dealing with command grabs.
Okay. What got me, what usually gets me motivated to keep playing, I guess, is, I don't know, I just have fun at the end of the day, stuff, you know. I like playing Birdie, you know, mostly because the viewers and stuff. <coughs> you know, I have a pretty, you know, even though it's a small community of Birdie players, most of them are really cool people, so it's just very appreciated, I guess. You know, having like good people around definitely help with motivating. Having bad people around could definitely, I can see why it doesn't, you know. And punish? Bro, my. Okay. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. I mean, when you have a lot of bad people around, it's not gonna really help you grow, really. Oh, okay, it threw me off. Okay. Okay. Hardy's committing into that. That's why you don't commit into special moves. I learned that with Birdie. You can get air recovered on and then that's it. Trying to do this in V-Trigger on block. You don't confirm they or they, they back dash or jump. They just get hit, air recover, punish. Vega's so good at that against Birdie, man. Vega's so good at that. He's just good at countering uh, a Birdie and V-Trigger 1. I honestly think V-Trigger 2 is probably just the best thing to go for, but that doesn't really work that well either. Vega's just good. Vega's good against Birdie. Vega's a pretty solid character. Against Birdie. Not as a whole, no. But in the matchup, yeah, he's not bad. Oh, no. Vega is just like kind of like uh, sporadic and like all over the place I feel like he got stuff but he doesn't and it just equals out so he just becomes like a like an okay character if that makes sense we got Karin Karin I don't know if people say this is like a bad match for Karen. People always talk about how like Birdie is like a better Karen. I'm like, what? How? Do I look like I got low forward that I can hit confirm into like retarded Oki? Okay. Alright, this is it. Okay. Yeah. Like, got a god like low that I can hit confirm, get Oki, get damage. Oh boo, she can't punish the sweep. Okay. Bruh, I tried to. That was so bad. Bruh. I'm trying to hold Bullhorn like an idiot. I'm doing it at like the worst time. Oh my lord. <laughs> Every time he went for like a reset, I'm holding bullhorn. I just get grabbed. Okay. Okay. What the hell? That was mad random. Oh boy. 
bro, this guy's mad random. Oh my, I lost. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Wake up, throw. Okay. Cool. So what happened? I got hit once into a tanko confirm, put into the corner to guess. Strike throw mix. That's what happened. And I fucked up on defense and lost. GG's. Shake my hand. Okay. Okay, time to guess. Oh. Did he even, what? He was crouched but not blocking or some shit, what the hell? Okay, that was a little odd. Okay. Trying to catch me with something random. Didn't get a good punish. Okay. I think I picked up his play style a little bit now. I mean, we don't know a Karen's play style. It's pretty annoying because you're kind of guessing. I got to be able to read the Karen a little bit. I can't just wail on Karen. Because one mistake, medium punch, tanko, now you got to fucking get dragged to the corner. Nice jump. Okay. Okay, he, he keeps going for that every single time. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. Okay, cool. Here we go. Okay. Punish? No, oh, okay. What the? Dead. He should have been ready for that, bro. That was so obvious. But it worked. Whatever.
Okay. I'll probably play one more. But yeah, back to motives. Again. Like I was saying, you can kind of just tell, like, what motivates a player, you know, to do what they, you know, maybe a Karen, you know, for example, that Karen player. Maybe the person liked being able to hit confirm, you know, he had really good hit confirms, or she, really good hit confirms, so that person just worked on Karen because, you know, the, if you're really good at hit confirming and stuff like that, you want to pick a character that you can get a lot off of being good at that, right? You don't want to pick a character that counters your type, oh, Ryu, okay. I think I... I need V-Trigger 2 against Ryu. I don't really like V-Trigger 1, but fuck it, whatever. So, like, when you when you go in to pick a character, obviously, you know, there's certain things that you want to pick based on what strengths you have as a player. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ryu's definitely an annoying matchup. We'll see how this matchup goes. Maybe I can explain it while I'm playing, but... Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, this guy is really solid, okay? This guy is just a diamond, what the fuck? This guy is not playing like a diamond. Wow. Or he's just the epitome of a tryhard Ryu. Okay. Alright. Okay, so, I don't know. Two very quick rounds. So, I don't know. Now jump. These block strings are really good. Okay. Okay. committed to that uh feels bad all right this guy's offense is pretty good i don't know how to explain it his offense is really good i mean defense against birdie i understand it's a little hard but this guy does not seem bad at all yeah this guy is pretty Okay, he does no certain things. Okay. His delays are really good. You can punish. Okay. Jump. See, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, man. It depends. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. It delays, like, it's it's so weird. I've never seen, like, a real delay like that. It's actually pretty good. Oh, okay. Nope. Fuck. Try and charge Bullhorn. Okay. 
Okay. I could have killed there. I'll take it. Hey, I got some delayed. See a delayed cross jab? Nah, no, just kidding. I was just trying to fucking OS. I was OSing against the DP. I just did jab. No, but he was legit like delaying like pressure. That was really good. Kind of printably doing it to kind of counter the armor maybe. I don't know. Right, that guy didn't seem too bad. That guy was pretty good. I could do a, a maybe work on a real matchup. But I don't know. That guy wasn't bad at all. I mean, there's certain things that you could do for sure in that matchup. Like more things could have done. But for the most part, if a bird's sitting there, you gotta just keep poking me with that fireball. No, no matter what, just keep poking me. I have a bad jump, so you can just bait the shit out of me. But he didn't really anti me a lot of times, which forced me to just keep jumping in. But yeah. But yeah, I'm probably gonna end it here. You know, had a decent amount of matches, you know. I'm glad I'm getting to a point where I'm being more consistent at, I guess, winning, I guess. Now I'm starting to like, Get a little more consistent, you know, which is cool, I guess. I don't know if I'm gonna grind to Ultimate Grandmaster. I mean, I could try to like just grind a couple more hours a day, you know, but eventually that's what's gonna have to come up to come down to if I want to actually get really good at this game. If I want to get really good, I have to grind like you know, the, the better players have, you know, what I mean, but I don't know if I want to do that if I want to spend more time on this like that you know to the point to become like that because yeah. I feel like at the end of the day what's the reason to get to like warlord or ultimate grandmaster what does it really do you know you gotta weigh those things obviously I guess for yourself telling you that you know hey you're, you're really good you know but yeah I don't know but yeah I hope you guys uh you know I'm I appreciate you guys sticking to the end, you know, watching the video, hearing me out on the motive stuff, you know, because that plays a big part on, you know, why people, you know, push through the, the rank stress and all that, and why they get better at this game, because they're able to push through that they have motives strong enough, whether it's bad motives or good motives, troll motives, motives are always going to push you, no matter what, to want to get better and to to push through that that uh that barrier of like you know stress and through the game so yeah with that thank you guys so much i'm out peace